How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I am your host, Warren Thompson. This is my cat, Rocket Raccoon, who, yes, is hiding under a box of lightsabers. Today, we have some really, really big news, as it's been reported that a solo Hulk film is happening in the MCU. It's already in pre-production and going to be starting very, very soon. And not just any Hulk film, a World War Hulk film, which I know a lot of fans are really, really excited to see. And I know what some of you may be thinking, how exactly is Marvel Studios going to do a solo Hulk film when Universal supposedly has the rights to solo Hulk films? Well, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about what is happening with this project in this video, including what we know the plot to be, because as we know, Marvel Studios just doesn't take comic stories, put them into movie form, and that's that. Of course, they always change them. So, lots to talk about in this video, and be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the MCU. And also, we are giving away a really cool Spider-Man action figure to one of our subscribers. The giveaway ends at the end of this month. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other channel that Chris runs, Cosmic Culture. We'll put the link in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Now, World War Hulk is something that I don't think fans thought we were going to be getting anytime soon. But yesterday, the GWW.com reported World War Hulk films slated to begin production in 2022. And before we go any further, let's dive into their initial report, which says, Buckle up, Hulk fans. She-Hulk isn't the only Hulk-related content coming in the next few years. The GWW has learned that a Hulk movie is on the way, and it's currently being called World War Hulk. Yes, we are finally having a new solo Hulk film in active development at Marvel Studios, and we were told it's currently slated to start production in late 2022, likely following the events of the upcoming She-Hulk series on Disney+. Now, they go on to say that this is coming from one of their personal sources who has been right about many things in the past, and I can attest to this as well because we've seen reports from the GWW come true. So there is big credibility here. Now, it also isn't that big of a surprise if you consider the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings post credit scene. I won't mention what was in it, but if you've seen it, you know. Not to mention, Mark Ruffalo is confirmed to be returning as the Hulk in She-Hulk. There is clearly a lot more story to tell, again, especially if you consider the Shang-Chi post credit scene. Now, in the comics, Bruce Banner is cousins with Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk. He is actually the reason why she becomes She-Hulk. She gets in a devastating accident, and Bruce Banner has a blood transfusion with his cousin, which ends up saving her life, but he ends up transferring some of that gamma radiation over whatever the heck is in his blood, and she ends up becoming She-Hulk. So it looks like we're definitely going to be seeing some type of iteration of that story, and if we think about it, Mark Ruffalo has recently talked about how he has a lot of ideas left for the Hulk. And if we think about one of the most insanely cool Hulk stories there is, well, it's hard to beat World War Hulk. It's an insanely cool storyline, but let's talk about the rights to the Hulk and how Marvel Studios is able to make a solo Hulk film when, for the longest time, Universal owned the rights to do a solo Hulk film. This is why the Hulk had to appear in other films with other heroes like Thor Ragnarok. It was really a Thor slash Hulk film. However, in 2020, there were reports going around that Universal and Marvel Studios had reached an agreement and the rights to the Hulk solo film properties have gone back to Marvel Studios. The report actually said that the rights to the Hulk and Namor, which Universal also owned, went back to Marvel Studios. Now recently, it's been pretty much confirmed that Tena Cuerta has been cast to play Namor in Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. And although Marvel Studios hasn't come out and said it yet, it's pretty much been confirmed by some major trades and insiders. So, if the rights to Namor have went back, then we could probably assume that the rights to the Hulk are back as well since they're both coming from the same place. The Hulk is a huge character to Marvel Studios, so it would make sense that they would kind of do whatever it would take to get the rights to a Hulk solo film back so they could proceed. And it looks like they have done so, and it looks like the story that they are going to go with is the World War Hulk story, which is very, very interesting because this story has connections to the Illuminati in Marvel Comics comics and the Illuminati is reportedly appearing in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now here's what you need to know about World War Hulk and the events leading up to it, the storyline known as Planet Hulk. Both involve the Illuminati. 
Now, what happens in Planet Hulk is a gamma bomb causes the Hulk to lose control and attack Las Vegas. And the Illuminati get together and they decide that the Hulk is too dangerous and they need to take him off Earth. So they trick him. They tell him that they're going to send him into Earth's orbit so he can destroy a rogue satellite. However, once he's in orbit, they shoot him off into space. Now, originally they planned to send him to a peaceful planet, but the ship actually ends up going through a wormhole. He ends up landing on the planet Sakaar, which is kind of what we saw in Thor Ragnarok. In fact, that part on Sakaar of Thor Ragnarok was based off of the Planet Hulk storyline. The Hulk actually gets an obedience disc, which we saw in Thor Ragnarok, and the Red King forces him to be a gladiator. Now eventually what would happen is that the Silver Surfer would end up freeing all of the gladiators from their obedience discs. And eventually the Hulk kills the Red King with the help of his former Lieutenant Kyera. The Hulk would end up becoming the King of Sakaar and he would end up marrying the Lieutenant Kyera. And she ends up becoming pregnant with their child. However, unfortunately, the ship that the Illuminati sent Hulk into space in ends up blowing up and kills Kyera and the Hulk's child. From there, the Hulk and his Warbound leave Sakaar and they go to Earth, and from there we get the World War Hulk storyline. Now, once he gets to Earth, it's absolutely insane. He goes through like all of the heroes. He defeats Black Bolt, he defeats Iron Man and destroys Stark Tower. He goes to the home of the X-Men and defeats many of them and he even fights the Juggernaut. He would go on to fight the New Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, the Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Storm, Ghost Rider, and he would defeat all of them and then he would put obedience discs on them. He even goes on to fight Doctor Strange in which Doctor Strange had fused with the Demon Zom just to take on the Hulk, but the Hulk beats him. He even defeats the US Army in Thunderbolt Ross. Now he takes all of the people prisoners and he takes over Madison Square Garden and he turns this into a gladiator arena with the plan of forcing all of the people to fight each other to the death. Now eventually the Hulk and Sentry would fight and they level the entire city. They fight till they're both passed out. While the Hulk is now in Bruce Banner form, Meek informs the Hulk that he actually let the explosion happen because he wanted the Hulk to continue to destroy everything. This causes him to go into extreme rage and he's radiating energy that threatens to destroy Earth. So he tells Tony Stark to activate a special satellite weapon that leaves him unconscious and in his Bruce Banner form in which then S.H.I.E.L.D. takes him to prison. So as you can see, this is an incredible story and I do not do it justice because it actually is quite long and I'm just giving you a rundown. I suggest checking out both of these stories, Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. But like I said in the beginning, we know that Marvel does not just adapt the comic story for story. But can you imagine if in a World War Hulk movie, he fought all of the heroes and defeated them and basically made them his puppets? This is the Hulk that everybody has been waiting for. We don't want the smart Hulk, Professor Hulk, whatever you want to call it. We want a Hulk who is just absolutely insane and filled with rage. And it's looking like we are going to be getting some type of that storyline. The cool thing about World War Hulk is that he has so much gamma radiation in him. He's a really, really strong Hulk. And there's definitely lots of ways that they could take this in the MCU. They can even say that all of the energy from snapping could have caused the Hulk to maybe get stronger. Perhaps that's how his arm actually ends up healing. Yes, it damaged him at first, but maybe over time, it affects him in a rather good way until eventually he loses control. Either way, I am definitely here for whatever iteration of a World War Hulk story that they want to tell. But let me know how you think that this story should go in the MCU in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.